Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. So I'm back for another Roscoe's recap and this viewing party was for season 16 episode 12 and the guest this week was Dawn. Today we're going to be talking about Dawn exposing some production secrets, why Dawn was quote peed off at Nymphia during this week's challenge and Dawn reveals how she knew that she was going to be eliminated this week. All that and more coming up in today's video, so let's get started. So they started off and Caramel jokingly asked Dawn what it was like being the true villain of the season, and this subject has been joked about quite a lot online. Dawn said, quote, well, let's unpack what is a villain to you. Is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing? And Nasha said that the way Dawn has been doing it has been a, quote, lovely thing. And Dawn agreed and said that she had seen an article saying that she was the most lovable villain we'd ever seen. And Dawn joked and said, quote, I'll take that. Nasha also said the best thing about it was Dawn being the villain was really unexpected and Dawn jokingly said that you should ask her family because no, it was not that unexpected to them. They then talked about last week's episode and the lip sync between Morphine and Maya and Nasha said that it was iconic and she asked Dawn what it was like on set when that happened. Dawn said, quote, well, first of all, I was drunk and everyone laughed. Dawn then said that when Maya put her cape on Morphine, she thought that she was going to quote, break her effing back or something, I was concerned, where's the medic? Dawn then brought up that Morphine had thrown one of her breasts at Maya, and Dawn said that it was a quote, dirty, dirty lip sync, but I lived. Dawn also explained that it was obvious that Morphine and Maya knew each other from before, so they were comfortable quote, punching each other in the face, if you will. Nasha then mentioned that usually Rue says that drag is not a contact sport, so they wondered how Rue would respond to that. But Dawn said that they didn't actually make contact, they just threw things at each other, and she joked that, quote, drag is a projectile sport. Nasha then asked Dawn if she thought that Morphine or Maya would win the lip sync, and Dawn said that it was Maya's fourth lip sync, and she said, quote, thank God that it was Morphine lip syncing against Maya so that, quote, some bee can send her home. Who's going to do it because it's time, baby? Nasia then said that after the lip sync, when the queens came back into the workroom, Q had the sourest look on her face because she didn't win. And Dawn joked and said, quote, was it the look or was it the filler? And everyone laughed, but Dawn said that she was joking. Caramel then asked if what we saw was Q's full reaction, and Dawn said yes because Q's reaction was just silence, and Dawn said, quote, she was more plucked than I have seen someone be plucked. Dawn then said that she's a big fan of Drag Race and she thinks this might be the most plucked anyone has ever been on the show, and she said that Jan's face crack was more iconic, but she thinks that Q was more peed off. Dawn also said that what they didn't show in the episode is that when the queen sat down on the couches before the queen started talking, Q sat down and just faced the other way and had her back to the other queens. And apparently the queens asked Q if she wanted to talk about it, but Q just said, quote, no, I'm good. But Dawn joked and said, quote, well, unfortunately, that's not how this works. So if you'd like to talk about it, we're here. Caramel then said that Sephira did have a slight fumble in her performance, whereas Q and Plain ran through it very smoothly, and she asked if Dawn was surprised that Sephira won rather than Q and Plain. Dawn said in her opinion she did think that Q and Plain were going to win, but when Sephira was announced as the winner, she also thought it was fair, so it wasn't a huge shock. Nasia then mentioned that she thought Nymphia was really good, but she also said that Plain and Q were, quote, effortless. And then Batty Davis said, quote, that's because half the material was stolen, and people in the audience gasped. Batty didn't go into any further detail, but I think what she's referring to is that after the episode aired, Q and Plain got a lot of praise for their jokes, where they said here are some slides and some clips, and then they showed photos of actual slides and clips. But people online said that Katia had actually made that joke about clips at a show that she had done in the past, which was apparently from Trixie and Katia Live in 2022, which was almost a year before season 16 filmed in 2023. However, other people also pointed out that those types of jokes are quite old and have been made by people in the past, but some people had criticised Q and Plain for copying these jokes. 
But back to Roscoe's, and they then talked about this week's episode when the queens had to decorate their own bathrooms in pairs. And Caramel said that Dawn was paired with Nymphia, and Cara said that when Nymphia doesn't know something, she relies on other people to do it for her, and Cara asked Dawn how much help she had to give Nymphia. Dawn said that she and Nymphia had a good flow going because at the beginning of the challenge, it was more about aesthetics and design and they were bouncing ideas off each other. And they really liked their concept of the Fart Museum, which is the Museum of Modern Fine Art. Cara then said that Dawn was happy with her partner she got and Dawn said, quote, oh, I didn't say all that and everyone laughed. Dawn said that she, of course, would have liked to have been paired with someone like Sephira because Sephira had been on a winning streak. Dawn also said that when she found out that she was paired with Nymphia, she felt like, quote, of the people left, this might be one of the harder ones to get good. However, it did not feel like as much of a death sentence as being paired with Maya felt like. And people in the audience gasped a bit, and Dawn said that she loves Maya, but Maya doing stand-up comedy is, quote, not going to go well. Nasha then referred to Dawn and Maya working together last week, and she asked if Dawn felt that if Maya flopped, then Dawn would be okay in the challenge. And Dawn said no, and said that she was glad that Maya is, quote, a good person. And Dawn said that what she's about to say sounds shady, and she doesn't mean it in a shady way. But Dawn said that she was glad that Maya, quote, so obviously did a bad job, as opposed to Dawn. And Dawn said she wrote all of the jokes and made every single slide in that presentation and came up with the concept. And Maya could have quite easily thrown Dawn under the bus on stage and told the judges that it was all Dawn's material. But she didn't. And Dawn said, quote, thank you, Maya. Nasha then said that Nymphia had this trend of going through the season saying that she was nervous because she didn't know how to do something. And Nasha asked Dawn how much of that is an act and how much is real. Dawn said that she doesn't think it's an act and that Nymphia genuinely is nervous. But Dawn joked and said, quote, Now, did she need to be so whiny about it? Maybe not. But Dawn doesn't think that Nymphia was, quote, calculatedly trying to hide her skills or anything like that. She was just genuinely nervous. They then watched a bit more of this week's episode and Nasha asked Dawn who she thought was the one to beat. And Dawn said, quote, at this point, was I trying to win? No. And everyone laughed. And Dawn said that she just wanted a top four spot, but she implied that she knew that she was not likely to win the season because she didn't have any challenge wins. Dawn also said that at this point of the competition, Sephira, Plain and Q all had wins. So Dawn was looking around and thinking, who can I take out so that she can make the top four, such as Morphine. Nash then said that Dawn had a funny story about Adderall. Just for anyone who doesn't know, Adderall is a medication used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD. And according to WebMD, Adderall can increase your ability to pay attention, stay focused on a an activity and control behaviour problems. Dawn explained that she has diagnosed ADHD and so she was allowed to have Adderall on set because she has a prescription for it. But Dawn said that the other girls were quote fiending for my Adderall and fiending by the way is slang for obsessively craving something and the audience laughed. And Dawn said that she had to keep telling the girls no because they asked if they could have some of her Adderall pills, presumably because they thought that it would help them stay focused in the competition. Batty then asked if production staff gave Dawn the pills every day or did Dawn just have them? And Dawn said that she just had the bottle of pills with her and she self-administered. They then got to the part of the episode where the queens were setting up and decorating their bathrooms. And Nasha asked Dawn what it felt like that Nymphia kept shooting down every one of Dawn's ideas. Dawn explained that in the edit, it doesn't really come across, but that day was actually the day that Dawn had the most fun she'd ever had on set. And all of the queens were just playing around and painting on each other's walls and being silly, and it was so much fun. But Dawn said that Nymphia was, quote, peeing me off because Dawn was trying to have fun and inject some love and personality into the challenge and was making lots of suggestions. But she said that Nymphia was just, quote, stank facing me. And Dawn implied that she jokingly said to Nymphia under her breath, quote, Stop it, they're going to use that in the edit. Make it look like we're doing a good job, you effing bee. 
Dawn also said that she was, quote, frustrated with Nymphia, but at the end of the day, Dawn was just having so much fun. Nash then said that she asked all of the queens this at Roscoe's, but what is Dawn's relationship like with Plain Jane? Dawn said that she wished that she had something juicy to say and she wished that she could say that she hated Plain Jane, but Dawn said, quote, this is unfortunately not how I feel. Dawn said that at this point it was top six so they'd all spent a lot of time with each other and Dawn had got really close to Plain Jane during filming. Dawn then said, quote, do I agree with everything she does and everything she says? No. Do I tell her I don't agree? Yes. But she said that she and Plain do have a good relationship. Dawn also said at a different point in the viewing party that the edit of Plain Jane was pretty accurate and everything that happened happened, but maybe Plain was quote a little nastier than what was shown, but Plain is a multifaceted diva. They then got to the part in the episode when Plain Jane broke down in the workroom and said that she was feeling the pressure of always portraying herself as being confident even though she does have insecurities. And Nasha explained that when that was happening on screen, Batty had said, quote, ah, victim, and everyone had laughed. And Dawn said that she, quote, gagged so hard that she spilled her drink, one of her nails popped off, and the other went in her ketchup. Nasha then asked what that moment was like on set when Plain Jane broke down. Dawn explained that that day was really emotional and tense because it was really early in the morning when they were in the workroom and they had all been in the competition for a while so they were all kind of burned out and tired. And so Dawn said that she wasn't that shocked but she realised that Plain was quote being got by this process but not in a bad way. And Dawn thought that it was kind of sweet but then she joked and said that she had to shake herself out of it and remind herself that plain is quote a c word and she said that she was joking and everyone laughed. Caramel then asked if it was so jarring because this was the first time that Plain had shown this kind of emotion. And Dawn said that up to that point, Plain had always come into every situation being really confident and kind of aggressive. And Dawn said she didn't know that Plain was capable of this or was willing to show it on television. Dawn also said that this might sound a bit mean, but she felt that Plain was crying about maybe not getting into the top four, and Dawn put on a silly voice and was clearly being sarcastic and everyone laughed. They then moved on to the runway for this week and the category was Chain Reaction. And when they got to Dawn's look, she explained that she actually had a different look that she brought for this runway. However, her original chain look and her 80s look from last week were quite similar and she was hoping that those two runways wouldn't come one after the other, but they did. And so Dawn wanted to change her outfit because it was similar to last week. So she had some spare fabric that she brought with her and she asked the production staff to go out and buy her a bunch of chains. And Dawn said that she made this look that she wore on the runway in her hotel room between last week's episode and this week's episode and the audience cheered. They then watched the actual performances of the queens with their bathrooms and Nasha said it seemed that Nymphia kept talking over Dawn and cutting her off. And Dawn then said quote yep and laughed but then she said she was joking and said that she can't blame Nymphia for that. And she explained that the two of them focus so much on the aesthetic of the bathroom but neither of them are joke writers and they thought that they would be able to just be funny and silly but she implied that it didn't really work. Nasha then asked if Dawn got to watch the other two teams do their performances and Dawn said no. And Nasha said sometimes on the main stage they'll wheel out a TV so that they can all watch each other's performances while on stage. But Dawn said that they didn't do that either so none of the groups knew what the other groups had done. Dawn also said that at that point in the competition she was so tired and sleep deprived because she was pushing herself so much that her brain was quote mind mush. And Dawn said that she loves the guest judge for this week, Mayan Lopez, but she doesn't even remember Mayan being there because Dawn said that she was so out of it. Dawn then told a story and said that she had kept a detailed journal while at Drag Race of everything that happened, including the challenges, who went home and the jokes that the judges had made and things like that. And one of the things that she had made a note of was all the different funny names that RuPaul had given to Safira throughout the competition. 
and apparently when they were preparing for this week's challenge, Safira came to Dawn and asked if she could have a copy of all of those names. And Dawn said yes, and she implied that she didn't really know why Safira had asked. And then, watching the episode now, Dawn realised that Safira used those names in the challenges as part of her jokes, for example when they kept calling her Sequoia and things like that rather than Safira. And the audience at Roscoe's gasped a bit. But Dawn said that even if she hadn't given Safira the names, it still would have been funny. But Dawn joked and said, quote, Looking back, I'm like, wait a second, I shouldn't have done that. They then got to the moment in the episode when Dawn was eliminated and everyone clapped and cheered for Dawn. Nasha then brought up the fact that the lip sync song was Body by Megan Thee Stallion and the lip sync was against Morphine. And Batty said that that was, quote, shady and Dawn said, quote, girl. And Dawn said that when she realised that she was the one that was going to lip sync against Morphine, she was dressed in a skin tight outfit with chains. And her opponent was Morphine, who is the BBL queen of Miami. And Dawn said, quote, Girl, I knew I was going home. Dawn also said, quote, It was done, girl. So she decided to just have fun in the lip sync. They then moved on to the Q&A and someone asked Dawn who she felt was the bigger villain on the season between her and Plain Jane, which is something that they had discussed at the beginning of the viewing party. Dawn said it depends on what the definition of the word villain is, and she said if it means quote, instigating the drama, creating the content, creating the fun, the reason you're watching, then yes, Dawn would take that. But if the word villain means, quote, the person bullying, nasty, making enemies, not me. Is it plain? I don't know. I'm not going to comment on that, but it's not me, baby. Kara then said that Dawn wasn't necessarily the villain, but she certainly did have a spoon in her hand and she liked to stir things up. And Dawn laughed and agreed and said that what she likes to say is, quote, I'm never going to start bleep, but I'm going to make damn sure it doesn't end. And everyone laughed. Someone then asked what the meaning of the key is that Dawn was wearing as an earring in her confessional look. Dawn said that all of her jewellery in her confessional look was very deliberate, and the key is a key to her mum's old house, which she kept. And she was also wearing two rings, which were special rings that had belonged to her mother as well, because she wanted her family to be with her in some way on Drag Race. And we later found out that Dawn's mother and her friends were in the audience at Roscoe's, but Dawn hadn't said anything up till that point because she didn't want to make it obvious that she was going to be eliminated this week, which is why her family and friends had flown all the way to Chicago to be with her at Roscoe's. An audience member then asked Naisha a question, which was about Naisha's comments that she had made last week at Roscoe's, when Naisha said that she thought that drag kings should not compete on drag race because they wouldn't be judged fairly and that they should have their own show. And just for anyone who doesn't know, after last week's episode, there had been a lot of discourse about this online and Naisha had received some criticism about her comments. And so, Naisha had announced that she would be having a discussion with two drag kings named Tenderoni and Landon Cider to discuss this topic. And I'll put a link to that video in the description because it's on YouTube. But back to Roscoe's, and the audience member asked Naisha how she was feeling now about the issue of drag kings on Drag Race. Naisha said that she had had this discussion with the drag kings to get their perspective on it. And the reason that Naisha had originally said that drag kings should have their own show is because that she felt that they wouldn't get judged fairly if they were on Drag Race and mixed in with drag queens. But Naisha said that what she was missing was that the reason drag kings want to be on Drag Race is because they get exposure from the show, because even if drag kings have their own show, it wouldn't have the reach or the exposure that Drag Race does. And Naisha said she had apologised to Tenderoni and Landon because Naisha was only thinking about it based on her own experience, and that's why she had that conversation with them. And Naisha said it's okay to have a difference of opinion and what she said was not hate speech. And when you do have an open discussion with people and you hear their thoughts and you get new information, you're allowed to change your mind. And Naisha ended by saying that drag kings should be given the same opportunities as everyone else. And everyone clapped for Naisha. And finally, an audience member said that on the show, we often see just a bit of the challenge with the queens setting up and then the final product is done, such as all of the toilets, the bathrooms, the furniture, the sound effects, etc. And they asked Dawn if she could explain that process. 
Dawn said that every single decision about that bathroom was made by Dawn and Nymphia and they have schematics and audio recordings and all of those things. But Dawn then said, quote, Now, do me and Nymphia paint every wall? Do we move every piece of furniture? No, that's not reasonable. But every single thing that happens is under our direction. So that was fully our bathroom. So there you go, there was the Roscoe's recap for season 16, episode 12. Let me know in the comments if you agree with the outcome of this week's episode. And who do you think is going to win season 16? And I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my incredible Patreon members who really do keep my channel going. In the Euro Winner Baby tier, we have Ashley, Bailey, Emerald1508, Ethan, Kat, Lisa, PC Smush, Rachel, Rochelle, and Sam. And in the Shantae You Stay tier, we have Amy, Anna, Becky, Charlie, David, Emmy, Linda and Shelby. You are all absolute legends and thank you so much for your incredible support. It really does make such a massive difference to my channel so thank you so much for everything. And if you'd like to have your comment featured in my Have Your Say videos, as well as get early access to my videos and priority when submitting interview questions, please consider signing up to my Patreon and supporting my channel, and I'll put a link in the description. Please make sure you like, comment, and share this video as it really helps support my channel. And of course, please make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date about new uploads. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you'll join me again in future videos. Thank you, bye!